The Encompass amplification cabinet powers and supervises the Hyperspike MA series high power speakers. When paired with the MA emitters, the Encompass amplifier cabinet is optimized to produce clear and authoritative voice commands. When paired with the MA2 emitter, an acoustic footprint of greater than 12 square miles can be covered. Now let me tell you some of the key features of the Hyperspike Encompass system. They include smart self-protection, the ability to automatically switch to the best available power source, performance of self-diagnostics, and the reporting of status through industry standard Form C relay fault reporting. When paired with the optional 25, 50, or 70 volt input transformer, the cabinet can easily connect to any standard fire panel. The NEMA 4 enclosure with padlockable door allows the cabinet to be installed in both indoor and outdoor environments. Now that we've talked about what an amplifier cabinet does and how we use it, let's talk about all the different components within the cabinet and their purpose. The first component of the Encompass amplifier is the audio input. The audio comes in through a surge suppressor to protect the cabinet and then passes through a transformer. This transformer can be a one-to-one, -one, which is the base model, or it can be configured with an accessory kit for a 70 volt input. The next component is the AC power input of the cabinet. The AC power is wired to this circuit breaker and to the ground on this back plate and then passes through a surge suppressor before it's routed to the rest of the cabinet. The next component is the AC power supplies. This and this are both AC power supplies and your cabinet may be equipped with one or two depending on the model. The next component is the DC battery backup. The cabinet requires two 12 volt batteries for backup. We suggest AGM batteries for safety within the enclosure. The switchboard is equipped with circuitry such that should the AC power be lost, the system will switch over to DC power even while operating at full power output without an interruption to the audio output. The next area of the cabinet is the customer interface plate. We've provided this open space for customers to install their equipment to customize the cabinet for their unique application. There's also 24 volt power available for powering that unique equipment. This area of the cabinet is the amplification area of the cabinet. Each of these cards represents one channel of output and is capable of 320 watts of power. Your cabinet may be equipped with one to 10 channels of output depending on the model you buy. One of the best features of the amplifier cards is that they are equipped with thermal foldback. This means that in extremely hot conditions, they will reduce their output and you'll get reduced speaker output, but you will still be able to get your message out. Also in this area is our control card. This receives the input signal and, and routes it to each of the amplifiers. It's equipped with a test button and a volume knob and a connector for an optional accessory PTT microphone. This switch is the door tamper switch. It indicates through a Form C output that the door is open. And if the door is open for service and the alarm wants to be canceled, the switch can be pulled out to, to turn off the Form C output. These are surge suppressors for the audio outputs. The audio flows out of the amplifier and through these surge suppressors and then to this terminal block. This terminal block is where customers would connect their speaker wiring. These surge suppressors protect the cabinet should any harmful voltage be coupled onto the speaker wires. Behind the AC breaker plate is a high power switchboard which routes and controls power to the rest of the system. This switchboard also feeds faults to our relay output board. This is where the Form C relays are housed to send signals either to the fire panel or a remote detection of device or to our customer equipment on the customer interface panel. Also behind the AC breaker panel is a battery charger which charges the DC battery backup. With the exception of the battery backup, your cabinet will arrive as is shown here. Installation includes wiring of the AC power input, installation of the battery backup, wiring of the audio input, wiring of the speaker output, and wiring of any fault reporting Form C contacts that you should desire. When you turn the unit on, you'll observe several LED lights illuminate. These lights indicate faults and whether the unit is working or not. In this area of the amplifier circuit card, you'll notice three LED lights. These LED lights indicate that the board is powered, 
that the board either has a fault or does not have a fault, and that the board, that the amplifier is enabled. In this case, you'll notice that the board is powered and has a fault. The reason for the fault is that there is no speaker hooked up, and the board is indicating as such. Please refer to the owner's manual for the meaning of each LED light. So there you have the Encompass amplifier cabinet and all of its components. If you have any more questions, please refer to the owner's manual. For more information on our full line of hyperspike speakers and amplification systems, visit ultra-hyperspike.com or send us an email. We're happy to assist you with any questions or set up a product demonstration at your convenience. You can also view additional instructional and demonstration videos by subscribing to the Ultra Hyperspike YouTube channel.